what are comets? Where do they come from? What are they made up of? And most importantly, why should we care? Hey there, I'm Shivani and welcome to the channel Science with Shivani. Today, we are going to talk about comets and why comets suddenly? You will know at the end of this video. So coming to the first point, what are comets? Comets are frozen leftovers from the formation of solar system. Till date, we have around 6,000 comets. Shoemaker Levy 9, Halley's Comet and Temple 1 are some of the popular ones. Now the second question, where do they come from? For that, we need to understand one thing. Comets are of two types, short period comets and long period comets. Short period comets are those whose period is less than 200 years. Long period comets are those whose period is greater than 200 years. Now these short period comets originate from the Kuiper belt. But what is Kuiper belt? Kuiper belt is a disc-like belt of icy bodies which exist beyond Neptune. This icy bodies is occasionally pushed by gravitational perturbation bringing them closer to the sun. These become the short period comets. But what about long period comets? They originate from the Oort cloud. And you know what? These long period comets can take as long as 30 million years to complete one trip around the sun. But wait a second, what is Oort cloud? Oort cloud is the most distant region of our solar system. The Oort cloud has giant spherical cell surrounding the rest of the solar system. It is a big thick wall bubble made up of icy pieces of space debris. The Oort cloud may contain billions or even trillions of objects. So if we have billions and trillions of objects out there in the Oort cloud, why do we have only 6000 comets? Actually, these 6000 comets are only a tiny fraction of the total potential comet population. So, there can be millions of comets, but we know only 6000 of them. Let us now come to the next question. What are they made up of? Well, comets are made up of rock, ice, I mean water ice, frozen carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, ammonia, methane, and other organic compounds. Now, because of their composition, they are also known as dirty snowballs. When comet passes close to the sun, they heat up and begins to sublimate, or we can say they begin to produce gas. This gas becomes the tail of the comet. Note, the tail always points away from the sun. Okay. By now we got to know a lot of things about comets, but why should we care? We should care because the comets help us to unlock the mysteries of the universe. Many scientists believe that comets must have brought water to young earth 4 billion years ago. There are doubts that comets or asteroids must have brought life to earth. In 2013, it was suggested that the impact between planet and comet had the potential to create amino acid through shock synthesis. Shock synthesis? Shock synthesis is the process of complex organic chemical creation through high velocity impact on simple acids. So summing up, comets with full of organic molecules came and collided with earth. The energy release in collision made proteins out of the organic compounds present in the comet. Creation of protein can be thought as a first step towards creation of life. A little note over here, these theories are still under development. There are scientists who have casted doubts on them. But we can safely say that this is one of the possibility on how life may have started on Earth. So why did I choose this topic? It is because a long period comet called Neowise was recently discovered by astronomers. It was discovered on March 27, 2020. It will be visible by naked eye throughout July and a little bit of August of this year. If you want to learn more about comets and other celestial bodies, then you can read the book Calculating the Cosmos by Ian Stewart. This is an amazing book. I have read it and you can read it too. If you like this video, the like button over there and the subscribe button over there are made just for you. Smash them. We will have lots of fun in this channel. Bye-bye.